Love After Lockup updates video, we talked about this girl who had reached out to me about a week ago and informed me that she had been dating Arthur for the past month. She sent me messages from Arthur while he was in prison where he was saying that he wanted to have a big Islamic wedding with her as soon as he got out of prison. And earlier today, Arthur decided to reach out to me through his brother. His brother is the one that has been running his Instagram page and he's like, hey, Arthur says he's not dating that girl. He's actually dating someone else and he wanted to tell more of his story. Okay, we're good now. Okay, so, uh, yeah. Okay, so check this out. Like, I did talk to that girl for a little while. Uh, I realized that she was really a drunk and I realized that she wasn't a real Muslim. So I kind of slid it back a little bit. Uh, you know, I'm a sweet guy, though. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, especially with women. I've been, shit, I've been locked up for years, man. You know what I'm saying? When I'm talking to a female, I'm going to be sweet. I'm going to be attentive. You feel what I'm saying? I'm going to deal with that shit. is natural. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm coming from jail, man. Like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm talking to a woman, like, of course it's going to be sweet. Baby this, baby that. Oh, I love that. Or, you know what I'm saying? I'm naturally, but I'm really like that, though. Like, anybody will tell you. I'm here on the business. Like, I don't got nothing for it, but, you know what I'm saying? But, but, but a stiff-ass mug and goddamn, like, and, and really no conversation, because I'm not pretty. But for a female, oh, I'm soft as cotton, gang. I ain't going to care. Like, everybody will tell you that. So, I was talking to her. There was some talk about, you know, an Islamic wedding and shit like that, uh, because I told her that I was married Islamically before to mm -hmm. my dad. My dad married uh and I actually posted a picture of my ex-wife the other day, but as far as us being in a relationship, that's a cap. Her reaching out and saying that I was okay with, with, uh, with what she was doing, contacting you, that's text me. I think that same time she hit you up, if the dates are correct, she had just asked me, hey, can I post that we're in a relationship? I said, no. There was a lot of language i had to censor out in this next part and background noise so i'll just recap this part he goes on to say that this girl asked him if she could post that she was with arthur and arthur claims he told her no the f you cannot then once arthur found out that it was out there that she said that she had been talking to arthur and dating him for the past month he got pretty upset and he claims he's actually talking to somebody else so i am talking to somebody right now though you know what i'm saying we're not in a relationship but i guess you said it's getting more serious by the day like this girl's a sweetheart you feel what i'm saying and uh probably i'm gonna give you her picture with her permission just so it's not her the one that you already have put up Denver, mm -hmm. um with, with me her and hope picture side by side i wish y'all was not associated with hope but i know that kind of it goes hand in hand because I'm on the show with her, but I don't talk to Hope anymore. We don't communicate anymore. Like, honestly, I tried with Hope. I tried to say, hey, I'll let's give us another shot. Let's do this. Let's do this. And then the reality starts setting in like, hey, you tried to shoot me, and I didn't even know you had a gun. So you, you stuck with a gun, and you shot to yourself. No, she wasn't trying to commit suicide. We were, we were fighting, and our dog was in the fight. Because every time we start arguing, our, our fucking dog that we share, he starts wanting to argue with shit too. And he tries to, he tries to defend his mom, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, so we, it was like a little, uh, like a little back and forth and a, like, and a little shoving. And she pulled out a fucking gun, gang. She tried to shoot me. No, baby, so shot her with So mm -hmm. we got to the floor. I picked the gun up. Cause I'm like, you're not going to get a second chance. You're just not. And I left. You know what I mean? Told her, you need to go to the hospital. You just got to go in your stomach, gang. Go on the game. Like, you're tripping. Why, why would you try to shoot me, baby? What I know he may be a little hard to understand at times just because prison phones aren't always the best quality. But pretty much he claims that him and Hope got into this big fight. She suddenly pulled out her gun and he claims he had no idea she even had one. And next thing you know, she slapped him across the face with her gun, allegedly, according to him. And then he said, next thing you know, she ended up accidentally shooting herself in the stomach. Then Arthur said that he wants people to stop talking badly about Hope. He said, look, we don't talk anymore. 
I've tried reaching out to her because that's my baby, but she refuses to talk to me. And he said, at the end of the day, she's still my friend in my eyes. And the worst thing that she did to me was sleep with someone else. And I found that video of her with another guy in her phone. But besides that, he claims that Hope was a really good girlfriend to him. And he feels like she does not deserve the backlash that she gets. I don't talk to her today. We don't communicate with you. Uh, to be completely honest, she doesn't talk to me. I was trying to talk to her. That was my baby. You feel what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. that was really my baby girl. You know what I'm saying? But I was tough. I did a lot of stuff shit to her. I cheated. Uh, I was never home. Um, you, know, I, uh, you know, I brought females to her house. Man. So it's not all bad on her. I guess I was trying to get revenge for her when I was in jail. I don't know what I was doing. But I wasn't being a, uh, I wasn't being a man, bro. You know what I'm saying? So were you trying to? Happened, were you trying to leave her when that happened? Was I trying to leave her? Yeah. Yes. I, because I think that's what your mom was saying. Again, I apologize. This whole conversation was like spontaneous. I had no time to prepare whatsoever. And I didn't even think that we were going to be recording this conversation. I just thought he was going to tell me his side. And then I was going to come tell you guys. Because a lot of people don't like having their phone calls recorded. And then blasted on the internet. Unless they're coming to me okay with that. And I didn't know he was okay with that until suddenly we talked. And so then he goes on to say yeah our whole relationship had a bunch of different domestic dv situations he alleges that hope put hands on him he admitted that he's put hands on her and he said that there's even an instance where she smacked him across the face with her gun and had him bleeding out and the producer's I, it sounded like how he described it. The producers were filming with them when this happened. And then after that, they started to distance themselves from them. And then he said, I just don't want the heat being on hope because she was a good girlfriend to me. He said he got out. He was running around with different women. She had his location and he would ignore her phone calls for hours. He claimed that she would have to get out in the middle of the night and find him because she had his location because he would ignore her and she would pop up and have to drag him back home and it was just constantly every single night like this. He said that he actually spent more time away from Hopes than he actually did at Hopes. Negativity on her because, uh, you know, we were supposed to have more longevity on the show. She ended up slapping me in the face with her gun and busting my head open. And the producers didn't like that. So they kind of shied away from us and backed off as far as giving us an extension on the show. Uh, maybe that's because of another every episode. Maybe that's why. Uh, but, uh, yeah, like, you know, we were fighting that day. Uh, she, she, you know, she hit me with it because I, damn near, I, I basically almost had her, like, I was behind her. You know, I had her body behind her. Mm -hmm. And she had picked up her gun and slapped me in the head, like slapped me in the head with guns. So I had to let her go, like, God damn, blood, like, God damn, fool, like, you were slapped, you know, smack me with the gun, like, so, it, it, it was domestic, so it was, it was time to call it quits. Like, I would leave her every other day, like, I'm leaving, I'm done. And we were just like, slap, you know, smack me with the gun, like, so, it, it, it was domestic, so it was, it was time to call it quits. Like, I would leave her every other day, like, I'm leaving, I'm done. We would just make up, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but it got to a point where this is it. Like, yeah, this is this. Is, this is, I don't even have clothes over here no more. This is it. Um, yeah, so it's not all the hurt, not all of me. It was, it was a group effort, but I definitely was the end. And, uh, you know, I guess she didn't, she didn't even hit my phone. She done up my phone in night conversations. You know, uh, I'm gonna pay her back because I saw videos in her phone back in the day. She was following me while I was locked up, you know what I'm saying? Going back to the end of the past. So, I don't know if I wanted revenge. I don't know if I wanted to get even. But I know it was domestic. It was tough. So uh, she was dishonest. But telling the police that, yes, I was the one that attacked her. She could have said right then and there, yes, we were fighting. But shoot, I shot myself. They did a gun powder residue on her hand and didn't do it on mine because they didn't feel like she did, they needed to, which is confusing. Because if I shot somebody, where is the gun powder residue? I'm volunteering my hands. I said, here, it's from yesterday, right? I shot her, right? Okay, here's the gun. That is the gun that 
that she wanted herself with. Where the is my gunpowder residue kept? Arthur said that Hope allegedly told the detectives later on that she was the one that accidentally shot herself, but he said that she has yet to make a written statement. He claims he heard she was supposed to be making a written statement, but she has yet to do so. And I did ask him if there's a no contact order put in place where neither one of them are allowed to reach out to each other, and he said that there's no contact order in place he said they can reach out to each other if they want to he said he just doesn't feel like hope is ever trying to talk to him again because she's trying to move forward with her life but that's it for this video guys let me know what you guys think about everything in the comments below give this video a thumbs up subscribe and thank you so much for watching